I go to the movies. Yeah. And uh, it was, it was a weird movie. It was at the, the Ragtag Cinemas. And it was a, uh, it was a movie that's based on a true story, I think. It's basically, it's based on a Twitter thread. And like an article about the Twitter thread and like a Reddit <laughs> something. <laughs> so, and the movie is called At Zola, the movie. And, um, have you ever watched a movie that looked like it smelled bad? <laughs> ah. Yeah, so, this is a movie, and the thing is, I don't know if it's true or not, or if it's a stunt someone pulled on Twitter, or what was going on, but, so, there's a girl that meets a girl, and asks her to go be a stripper with her in Florida, and along the way, and it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. And it ends up, you know, it's not just about stripping. There's other things that are expected for money. And <laughs> all sorts of craziness ensue. So if this really happened... This is awful that it happened. <laughs> you know, if it's stunt, if it was a stunt, this is genius. <laughs> but, I don't know. I mean, the movie, is, it's, it's, you know, it's gritty and raw and outlandish. And I'm surprised it didn't get an NC-17. I'm pretty sure this was just R. <laughs> but this was graphic. <laughs> Man. And it's, it's just the craziest craziest thing is like the craziest lines that are in this movie and it's crazy and sometimes they'll do that twitter sound because i guess these things were specific were things that actually were tweeted out you know and they do they're saying them as lines of dialogue and and but then they'll do the twitter sound and it's just it's insane <laughs> uh. and uh if this is a true story, then you just got to be real careful about who you're hanging out with and don't let them drag you into some crazy underworld <laughs> just because I guess you're bored <laughs> with where you are and you're like, yeah, I want to go on an adventure. Don't go on adventures with strangers. <laughs> they might... They might do you dirty, I guess, is the, is the moral of the story. Yeah. But I thought, but the movie was funny. I mean, there were a lot of funny just lines and stuff. Are, oh, there's some sort of critter. But, uh, yeah, and there's like this, this really tall dorky character you know and he's one of the girl's boyfriends or something and it's just he is a hilarious character in this and i don't know if this is based on a, a real thing or if this was something that was added for the movie or what's going on but he was really funny just his awkwardness and <laughs> all the nonsense that's going on but it's like, 
it's like there's portions of the movie that just make you feel dirty. It's like, ugh. Ugh. This is an unfortunate thing that I'm seeing. But then they'll break... They'll... <laughs> The, the they'll they'll break that that grimy tension with like a, a joke you know and the, it's basically like the movie's almost semi narrated by like the Zola character you know <laughs> and she'll just say something you know is nasty <laughs> or something like that and the, you know it'll change scenes, but it's so. Yeah, there is most. Actually, I think all of the nudity in this movie is male, so that makes it funny, funnier. It's like, yeah, it's like the girls, you know, they're wearing skimpy outfits, and sometimes they have pasties and stuff on. But I think almost all the nudity is male. <laughs> and it's graphic. And it's not people you want to see naked. It's like... <laughs> you see things you don't want to see in this movie. <laughs> but, uh... It was, uh there was, it was kind of stylized. Like, there was lots of, like artistic transitions and they're doing stuff with like mirrors and I kind of got a you know Quentin Tarantino-esque feel from some things you know sometimes it just have something pop up on the screen or something you know like he would do with the the box deal they'll have something pop up on the screen or <laughs> just trying to give it you know, I mean, there there's like a more artistic vibe to some of it, you know? So that's cool. Well, yeah. I mean, the movie's a wild ride. I don't necessarily know... I mean, if you're interested in seeing a, a gritty wild ride, you know, with a, a weird you know, text and phone-based referencing stuff and Reddit and all that sort of stuff, you know, this might be right up your alley. But I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go and research it some more. Why, what was going on with this, if it's really based on a true thing. I vaguely remember people sharing stuff about the Twitter thread, but, like, years ago, but I don't know. This is kind of this movie's messed up, <laughs> and it's more messed up if it, if it was real, if this actually happened. But anyway, so yeah, that's all I got to say about that, I guess. And uh, so those are my first thoughts after seeing at Zola, the movie. <laughs>